Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Street Fathers and Nerd Children. <laughs> and this was inspired by a comment on uh, the video I did uh, about a week ago about nerds and thugs working together. And the comment was from Neurocentric Thought. And now, I didn't think to actually like write down the comment or copy and paste it so I can actually read it. But he had said something about street fathers and nerd children. I had to laugh about it, right? Because check it out. I always said the biggest, meanest thug is usually got, usually had, they, you, you get some of these guys, like I've known straight up killers. And they have children and they will raise the children different. And Lord, don't let it be baby girl. And who is baby girl, you might ask? You get like a thug type of dude, they get a daughter. Now, this ain't all of them, because I know somebody say, well, this dude ain't do this or that. No, but you get some, like, crazy dudes. They crazy. They shooting up the neighborhood. They get baby girl. Baby girl got him wrapped around her finger. That dude start acting right and shit. And even if he don't act right and stuff, let somebody mess with baby girl. Like, let some dude touch her on a butt at school, man. He might get his ass fucked up. Right? Because baby girl, they do don't play with baby girl. And I've seen that. I've seen dudes change their lives around for baby girl and whatnot, right? But this ain't about baby girls. This is about nerd children in general, right? Because a lot of dudes, like, there's a lot of cats. Like, they might have been into the street life. Uh, they might have been hustling or doing some low-level carjacking. You know, just some criminal-ass shit. Now, some of them ain't going to be any good if they get a baby. Right, but that changes a lot. That fuck paternal. All of a sudden, dude, be like, "Hold up, I, I can't be doing, I can't be doing this stuff anymore." And then I don't want my kids to do it. Right? I don't want my kids to do it. Like I give you an example. For those who watch the TV show Power, now you know that little trifling kid Tariq want to get into the street life just like his daddy, but his daddy didn't want him in that life. You know. In fact, a lot of uh, true to the game hustler or something, they, they know they're doing wrong to make their money. Shoot, they trying to get their kids to go another direction. And there's a lot of kids out there. They, I can guarantee there's a lot of people out there, probably some people listening, knowing their daddies were thugs. Knowing they were something, but you know what? The thugs, a smart thug, tries to get up out of the hood. You don't embrace that lifestyle. Forget what y'all see on TV. Most smart dudes, they try to move. As soon as they get the chance, they move. They don't stay in the hood. They, they try to move to a better neighborhood. They'll clean their shit up. That's why you get a lot of, like, drug dealers. Once they make some money, they'll, like, try, they'll stack their paper. Maybe try to get some legit shit. And then they move on. They don't try to stay in that. Shoot, they try to stay in the shoot. Even, like, uh, like cartel people, they send their kids to good schools or something. <laughs> All right, because they don't want, because they know it's messed up. Because a true father, a true father ain't going to want the same thing. He knows, I mean, people know when they're doing no right from wrong. And they know they got caught up, but they want better, right? Because deep down, um, you know, you got, you spend, anybody who spend any time in the streets, you, deep down, you know it's fucked up. You know it's fucked up. You know you ain't going, you know you got crazy people there. So the first thing you trying to do, you trying to get up out of there. You get up out of there, try to get in a normal neighborhood or something. You don't want your kids hanging out too. You be like doing stuff different. You see, some fathers, some street fathers will even change up to the point that their kids probably couldn't imagine them doing anything street until they're hanging out with them or something. <laughs> they go someplace, they say, damn, dad, uh, I ain't know you talk like that. Because, you know, that, that's a real dynamic. See, I understand something. And this is one of the reasons why I'm not big on getting on Pookie and Ray Ray's. If you show a lot of them want another direction, right? A lot of them want to do stuff. Now, like I said, you can still find some who's still going to be trifling. They get some kids. They still going to do the same old shit. But that's not all of them. You know, you get a lot of kids. And there's a lot of cats out there. There's a lot of cats. All of a sudden, they went into some stuff. They get a few kids. All of a sudden, you see them, they work in some regular blue-collar job somewhere, right? So they can be there for their kids, you know? They got some blue-collar job somewhere. They just working normal. They might have did a stint in prison. All of a sudden, 
you see them a few years later, they working at a church or something. Because they want better. They want better. They, in, in fact, even if they weren't educated as well, right? Maybe they didn't get it. They'll make sure their kids do it. They be, they'll stay on their kids. Because they'll be like, look, I don't want you walking the same path I had to walk. You can do better. You know? And it definitely some fathers, especially, you know, getting back to baby girl. <laughs> you know? Now, here's, here's a general. This is more... Ain't no real proof for this. This is like more or less one of those... Uh, Shall we say common sense type of things or I don't know, folksy type of thing. But usually, usually it's said like if a dude is like a bad man or something or a player, right? It's said that he'll get a daughter, <laughs> especially if he's a player. He'll have, he'll have girl children. And see, I know some dudes like that. They get that girl child, baby girl. They want something else. Or, you know, with the boys, they, they might want the boys to be like, look, man, I think you can do better than this, man. You don't have to be doing some petty hustling. Shoot, get that law degree or that medical degree, accounting degree, get that MBA or something, you can really make some money, right? And they'll do it, too. And some, you know what, some will even stay in the street life, but then they'll make sure they'll try to compartmentalize it. Like, I've actually known some cats like that. They'll be like, nah, he, he going to school. He going to school. Because, you know, really any parent wants what, really a parent, if they mature, they want their kids to do better than them. See, we got a twisted thing out here. We got a lot of uh, adults and stuff. And quite frankly, they're, they're, uh, their kids won't do better than them. They won't. You got the kids living at home. Ain't no, I don't think any parent wants that. They want their kids coming back once they're out the house. But, you know, that's the thing of the economic thing. But, you know, the economic situation we got going. But for the most part, many street fathers, many many of those Pookie and Ray Rays who got kids, they trying to have them do something else. And you see that a lot, especially with girls. Now, sometimes with boys, it can be weird with boys. Because you get some dude like, oh, man, I got somebody run run with me and whatnot. But the girls, no, they want her to hit the books, all of that stuff. In fact, I think that's why some uh, some street cats sometimes will go for a woman who look like she's doing something. Because they're trying to upgrade. They know, I mean, any guy, any, anybody you spend any time in the street, I don't care what side of the fence you want, know it's fucked up. It ain't nothing to really glorify. You know, it's good to learn how to navigate. You learn how to navigate life, but nobody actually wants to live there. You know, even I, I did some videos. I said, yeah, keep an ear to the street, but I didn't say live there. I said, you know, just go through the neighborhood every now and then. Pay attention to shit. Figure out what's going on. But <laughs> take your ass back to the suburbs and stuff. That's smart. In fact, that's the whole... At least that used to be. But usually, you get somebody smart. They want to leave. Like, you get a... Uh, you know, you get that, like, more sophisticated sophisticated type of street cat. His whole thing is getting up out of there. His whole thing is not going back to prison again if they spend time in prison. is upgrading his shit, you know? And that upgrade includes the kids, you know? So they, they, they shoot proud of it, you know? They want that kid to have that, uh, that advanced degree and stuff, be smart. You know, now they may, if, they, if they're a smart father, they're still going to teach the kid how to defend themselves, still give them some, like, real game. But, you know, it's always about the upgrade. It's like, look, I don't want this life for him. You know, you always want something better. So that's an angle. And I know some people still going to come and, like, nah, nah, they don't. That's like, you know what, like I said, they ain't going to be everybody. You still want to get some street fathers trying to, you know, be dressing up their kids, swagging them out and shit. Right, or they ain't gonna do right by, them. but you know you still got that percentage you are gonna do right. They're gonna change this shit up because they want something better. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace.